We are just coming to the end of an Arts Council funded project which we've called uh, Create Our Space. We were conscious coming out of the pandemic that young people were struggling. We wanted to set up this project that really focused on young people. They're an intermittent part of our audience at the gallery and we wanted to try and make it known to them that the gallery does hold a space for them and that they can and belongs to them. So we've really tried to use the project to illustrate that. There's five local primary schools who have benefited from these workshops, which all link back to the current exhibition. We had a photographic workshop last summer with Corinna Wagner. We had a sound workshop with Mikhail Karikis in early part of this year. And now we're doing a printing workshop with uh, Sharon James, who won the open prize last summer and has her exhibition right now in the gallery. started out with the pupils working in, in pairs, just making rectangles and squares and triangles using this bamboo, and then gradually getting them to work together and collaborate. We're using geometry and pattern, talking to them a bit about screens, shadows, windows, obviously trying to relate it to the architecture of the building but also for them to start working together and realising that if you want to make something this big, that it has to be a collaborative effort. Hopefully that is something they can gain from this, that we don't necessarily know what it is when we start, but it sort of reveals itself through our commitment to it. Well, it's something they don't normally get the opportunity to do, so it's something really special that actually it, it targets their creativity and outside of school they probably wouldn't come across those opportunities. Like with Alistair's, building the installation piece, that's not something that we can quite accommodate in our kind of art lessons, so it gives them a completely different outlook and to meet artists that are working and earning in the community is really, really valuable so they can see that there's a potential for a job if that is the industry that they'd like to get into. I think they found it quite challenging initially to work on such a big scale and to work collaboratively but once they started seeing the things take shape and I think creating a space in which the objects were manipulated they began to respond and we talked a fair bit about light and that actually the sculpture is really there just to project light and to, to occupy the space and bring an energy into this part of the building. It's a new building, it's a creative building but it, it needs some creativity. I think they got that and when they could then see the patterns and the shadows and the contrasting lines and the bright colours, they could see that this was literally like a projector, they're like slides. We're in Seaton and we're here with the Creative Cabin doing some cyanotypes and badge making with different families of different ages. Working with children is very fun. It's, you never know what's going to happen, very unpredictable. Introducing them to new forms of art rather than just drawing is quite exciting to see their reactions. So that was the first intern that the gallery's had. Look, I've learned a lot and it's a very good experience. The Creative Cabin is like a, a branch of the Thelma Holbert Gallery. It's like bringing the art to the people rather than people coming to the art. It came on site for two days last summer. We aimed it more at the photography students, so they got the opportunity to actually use proper developing processes that at the moment we don't have the facility to offer. So it was a completely different outlook on photography and its heritage really. And the artist that came in did a fabulous job with her old 1950s traditional camera with the powder and everything. It was, it was fabulous. They really enjoyed it. What I have noticed across the years working in education is that the funding is becoming less and less each year and that's having an actual battering on the resources that we have within the school. For example, our photography students, we rely now on them using their own phones for photography because we can't afford lots of individual cameras. So when she came into the school, she actually brought some DSLR cameras with her, which allowed each pairing to have their own camera. We're trying to build on this project and keep it going because I think um, the needs within young people are ongoing. It's given us the freedom to sort of investigate new avenues with our audience and try and establish some new ways of working that will help embed young people into our broader audience.
I've known the Thelma Hobbit Gallery for quite a few years and you've always been really supportive but this project has brought in more artists in the year than we've ever been able to do before. And we've really loved two things, giving the students a voice. So the first artist where they looked at climate change, those kind of things, I think they, they worked really well. And then the second thing I thought where the artists talk about being an artist. Now that's a job, you can do that. That it might be difficult, it might be challenging, the work pattern, what, that, what kind of skills you need. And I thought Alistair spoke about that really well for year eight. And that's a really important year group for us. So then hopefully we get more students choosing the GCSE course and keeping the arts going and keeping them alive in our community. I think that's really important. It's really easy to see the value of get, giving people the opportunity to play with it. Because I think there's so many people who don't even have a space at home to do that or just don't even know where to start with doing that, you know, so just anything where you're helping to open that door, I think is a real treat.